Hello Art Stars! Today we've got some mind-bending exercises planned for you. Um, so you will need your notebook, pencil, rubber, a ruler if you've got one, and um, either your oil pastels or your watercolours if you're more comfortable working with a brush. Today, for speed, to show you, I've got just a good old felt tip pen. So let's dive in. What we're going to be working on are optical illusions. And optical illusions are drawings that trick the eye into thinking that something is three-dimensional or is there and goes out of the page when, it's, when it doesn't. It's just an angle and shading. So the first we're going to create is a tunnel and it's very easy. We are going to start, let me see that you can see my paper properly. We're going to start by drawing an oval. And again, you can do this very lightly with your pencil. I'm doing it a little bit harder so you can see. And then you're going to start doing little, almost like circular petals around it, or like half moons. Like that. One. Two, and I'm going to do one more. Now, if your lines get a little bit wobbly, that's okay. We can fix it with a color. But try and be as smooth with your movements as you can. Next step, we're going to color it in. So let me grab my felt tip and put this at a bit of an angle. It's sometimes useful when you're working to put your paper at an angle and it's more comfortable so your hand can have the, the right movement. I'm going to do it like this. So, and after you've colored it in, we're going to add some shading around it to make it feel like this is a tunnel that's going inward. Now, if you've chosen to work with your oil pastels, you might want to do your shading with a medium gray. If you've chosen your watercolors, make sure, or another paint, make sure it's dry and then grab your pencil. And you're going to start shading on this side. And so you want to remember our still lives and how we look at light falling on a round object. So I want you to start with your light shading and then slowly build it up to a darker one as you work it in. And remember to go, it's hard to tell with my uh, blue because it's quite dark, but you want to shade over both your white and your colored areas. And 
then you want to get a little bit of finger smudging in there. And that's why I think the oil pastels might work really well for these. And why if you're working with watercolor, instead of building this with a gray tone of the watercolors, we're using the pencil because it's much easier to smudge and build this kind of um, realistic shading. There we go, that's looking quite good. And now we're going to go here on the opposite side and do um, a bit of a lighter shade. So, can you see there's a bit of shade going on here? I might come in and do this a little bit darker and then keep this at very light. And there we go. There is our tunnel. Can you see how this shading suddenly makes it feel like you you could drop this right in there? Wow. So that is our first illusion. I'm going to set it here and grab a fresh piece of paper for our second one. And for our second one, you are gonna use your hand and trace it onto the page with your pencil. So I hope you've all done this before. If you need to ask for someone's help to um, trace your hand or to hold the paper still while you trace it, it's never a bad idea to have a second set of hands. All right, ooh, I don't know if you can see there. I've done this very light. But that is just my hand traced. Now, you're gonna grab your ruler and you're gonna measure out and mark with your pencil lines across. So I'm gonna start maybe from if this is the beginning of my page, I'm going to start a little bit below and finish a little bit early. So I'm going to mark my first one here at three centimeters and mark every centimeter from there on. And then we're gonna head over to the other edge of our paper and mark those out as well. And this just helps you line up your ruler a lot quicker when you're drawing the horizontal lines. And you'll see why this is important as our um, illusion comes to life. Right. Oh, I've done this. Let me see. I've gone a bit askew here. I 
just marked one and two extras. There we go. Get rid of those for confusion. Now you can grab your brush or um, your um, pencil crayon, whatever you're using, your oil pastel crayon. And we're gonna make some lines. But we're gonna leave our hand empty and I'm gonna show you what I mean. So this is what I mean, where you're going to stop every line where your fingers are. And now we're going to think about the three dimensions and so the curving of the hand. And we're going to connect up our lines using those curves. So let me stack my paper up properly here. So here we've got one curve, here we've got another one for the wrist, So if I hold this up now that I've connected my hand, can you already see there's a bit of a funny, oh, I'm missing a couple of lines here, but can you see how there's a trick to the eye and it makes it feel almost like it's rising from the paper? We are going to um, accentuate that with our shading. So same as we did with the tunnel, we want to think about our light source. So if my light is coming from here, it means that if my light comes from here, it means that every part of here of my fingers is going to be shaded. But the table is going to have a shading of my fingers on the page on the opposite side. So let's get shading one section first and then the other. And if you smudge a little bit like I did on this finger, no problem. We rub a little bit of it off. And it leaves us with a nice clean shade at that point. So now that we've done all the shading on this side, we're going to go ahead and add the shading on our surface or table or paper on this side that the hand would be making when it's laid on there. And that's just going to finish giving it that pop that makes you think there's a hand coming out of the page. So I'm going to turn it upside down because I think I'll, I find it easier to work shades um, to this side. Feel free to do the same. And you want the shade on the table to be a little bit lighter than the one on your hand. It's a bit of a softer one. And 
there we go. That is our hand coming out of the page. I'm going to set this aside and do one final illusion. And it's called the impossible triangle. And it looks really difficult, but we're going to break it down so that it's a bit easier. You might want to help yourself with the ruler. What you're going to do is you're going to draw a big triangle. like that. Make it nice and big because we're going to make two more triangles here on the inside. And I'll show you. We're going to do one more here. So there goes one inner triangle. And two. There we go. Can you see our three triangles? Try and make them the equal width from distance from one triangle to the other. So now I am going to switch to my Sharpie. And we're going to go ahead and mark the outer line of our triangle. And I'm going to start by drawing a straight line here from where this crosses from one tip to the other. Like that. Then I'm going to follow this line. Until the next point of my little cross. And now I'm going to draw a line there again. And the same with the third side. Okay, so now you're left with something that looks like this. And you can see in there we still have our two inner sort of triangles. We are going to start at the top. So at this top corner, we're going to follow all this line through down. So. until you come to the first line of your bottom triangles. And then you're going to highlight that line. Then you're going to start from this corner, the line right underneath, 
again at the top. And you're going to continue the line up until this point. And now you're going to come in for this last line. So where you've got that intersecting corner, you're going to come up. Again, until you hit that first line and then you're going to come across. And there, suddenly, it's mind-boggling, but we've got our impossible triangle. You can embellish it a bit by shading it and I'm going to show you super quick. So where the inner corners would be. And there we go. All that's left is to rubber, uh, rub out all of these extra uh, guidelines that I've got from my pencil. So I'm going to go ahead and do those now. And there we go, an impossible triangle. I want you to pick one of the three that we've done and add some embellishments to it that tell a story with this piece. So maybe it's um, a pencil that the hand is reaching for, uh, maybe you've got cracks on the floor and um, some ground going into this tunnel. Maybe you've got florals or other geometric shapes, you know, cutting through this shape. Um, just have fun with it and add some something that you think goes really well with this optical illusion. I will see you for our Zoom session. Thank you so much, Art Stars. Bye.